if I tell you um, that I just bought a brand new Ferrari, um, you don't know my financial situation. You don't know um, enough to doubt me, or you don't even have a reason to doubt me. You might say, okay, but you know those cars are very expensive, and I don't know. When you hear a statement, you either likely believe it or likely disbelieve it, regardless of the amount of knowledge, or not regardless, factoring in the amount of knowledge you have on that topic, okay? If I told you that I am talking into a microphone right now that is hanging from a microphone stand, that's pretty believable because you understand that microphones need a stand to either hang from or stand upon. However, if I told you I was talking on a microphone that is literally suspended in midair, floating in front of my face, touching nothing else, you would not believe me. There may be some sort of scientific marvel of magnetic wizardry that, that could make that possible. Magnetic wizardry? Wizardry. Mm, that's nice. Thank you. Just made it up. Um, there may be something that can make something similar to that possible, but the point is, since you know that, that that's not really something that's, that's typical to happen, you will not believe me. You cannot choose and say, you know what, despite everything I know about humanity and physics and just general logic... I'm going to go ahead and believe David Smalley that he's talking into a magic microphone that is suspended in midair and floating directly in front of his face. You cannot make a decision on your own. When you hear a statement, you either believe it or you don't. And what I submit to you is atheists are not making a decision to disbelieve in any certain deity. It's the other way around. We don't think there is sufficient evidence to support any of the metaphysical claims. Therefore, the default position is unbelief. And if evidence arises, we could become a believer. But you can't just hear a statement and decide to believe it. Igniting the resonant of tone Casualties to celebrate Now we atone for the sadness The colors we stole from the world's unknown